What if if you get hundreds of dollars out of the blue? No, I'm not kidding. People are actually getting hundreds, if not thousands of dollars out of the blue. But in crypto and in crypto terms, it is called as crypto airdrops. And in today's video, we will see everything about crypto airdrops. What are they? How you can get them? How you can find them? And how you can save yourself from crypto scams, specifically airdrop scams. So let's get it started with it already. Airdrops are basically crypto tokens or coins distributed for free. It's just like the toy that you get with candies out there or specifically the cards in chips. It's a good marketing strategy to attract kids. Sometimes kids just want that particular toy from that particular candy and they end up buying that product. In the similar way, crypto projects also attract adult kids. So they basically lure users with the incentives in money. The first crypto airdrop happened back in 2014 by Aurora Coin and whole Iceland's population was eligible for it. All they had to do was just register and get the coin. As simple as that. And the biggest airdrop was in 2020 by Uniswap. It was about 6.43 billion dollars. Users got around 400 uni tokens for just simple swaps and the price of one uni token was around $3 at that point of time. So the total rewards were around $1200. But if they held that particular uni token for around one year, then the per uni token price was around $43 and it would give around $17,000. Airdrops has been happening since past few years and in 2020, in 2021 and 2022, in all these years, more than $21 billion has been given as airdrops. Even in 2023, when whole market was down, around $4.5 billion were given as airdrops. Usually crypto projects avoid giving airdrops in crypto winter. They basically wait for crypto summers so more people could participate in their project. But why do these projects give the airdrop in the first place? Well, there are several reasons and one of the reason is that they want to incentivize the early adopters because these people are the same people who supported them when no one did. Second reason is to grab the attention of mass because in today's world, it is quite important to grab the attention of people in order to succeed and to grab the attention, airdrop is one of the way and it is one of the proven ways to grab the attention and create buzz around the market. And with the help of airdrops, people come to these ecosystems, use them, utilize them. In this way, projects get to see whether they are capable of handling the users or not and they also find the bugs in their system so they can improve and get their services better. How and who can participate in these airdrops? Well, let's explore that bit also. Sometimes the early adopters get the airdrop as governance token. Governance token gives the voting power to that particular user and helps make decisions in that particular project. It is similar to the board of directors concept in the companies. The second way to get airdrop is by holding crypto. You won't get airdrop by just holding random cryptos out there. It depends on the projects and their conditions for the airdrop. Like in 2017, XLM, the Stellar project, gave the condition that if you hold Bitcoin, they would give you their native token, which is XLM. And users got as much as $1,000 worth of XLM. In the similar way, BitTorrent also gave airdrop to the TRX holders, basically Tron holders. And this might happen again in future in different blockchains. So you can hold different cryptos in order to get the airdrop, but also check out the details of particular project. And the third way to get airdrop is by using the particular platform. Like in some projects, if you use their platform, they would incentivize you for that. And you can get airdrop just by using their platform. The fourth way to get airdrop is by just staking. You just have to put the money in that particular ecosystem and this way you would be eligible for airdrops and you would get the airdrops. So these were the four ways to get airdrops. But before you grab your airdrop, let's explore the part of scams in airdrop. These scammers are quite smart and they create exactly the same website as for the airdrops and they would just confuse you with copy of a original website and this way whenever you connect your wallet to that particular website you might feel like that you are connecting to a original website but you might end up connecting to a fake website and this way when you are actually waiting for the airdrop to come into your wallet you would actually end up losing the money in your wallet also so beware of these crypto scams now let's see how you can find these crypto airdrops the first and foremost way is that you follow the people on twitter this way you would be able to find airdrops on time because it is quite important to find these airdrops on time otherwise you might not be eligible for a particular project so the other way is that you watch the youtube videos they are quite 
fast these days than they update you on regular basis. The other way is that you use the websites like rankfi and airdrops.io. So use these websites and you would be able to see the upcoming airdrops and the projects that have confirmed their airdrop. You can also use DeFi Llama where you will be able to see an option of airdrop. Just go there and you would be able to find all the particular projects which are yet to announce their tokens or coins. This way you would be able to track them and see whether they are announcing their airdrop or not. You can also check out the airdrops on Solana. There are plenty of airdrops that are coming on Solana, but it might be a little late for Solana airdrops as they have been announced a little earlier and the price was not that much at that point of time. And I also participated in these projects. I will also be providing you the links for these airdrops in the description below. You can check out research and participate in them. There are actually some people whose job is to just find airdrops and they call themselves airdrop hunters. They just make money out of airdrops throughout the year. So you can also do that if you want to, but it requires a lot of time and effort. And in future, I feel like the airdrop amount per user will decrease as more and more people will be joining this ecosystem of crypto. So I hope this video was insightful for you. And if so, just make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more such helpful videos.